Hello everyone. In this demo, I will show you how to calculate three months rolling total in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So let me show you my data table here first. So this is my sales date and this is my order quantity. On my order quantity, I want a rolling total of order quantity. So first thing what I'm going to do, I will, I will first convert this sales date into a month and year format. So for that, I will add a one column, actually, new column. And I will give name to my column is month here. And I will use table name first, table name and field name, sales date or I will use a month. So this will return a month name. And I will join with dash and then M person and join will here. So sales data and the column name is again sales date. And I will say this time here and I will hit the enter button. So as you can see here, so month and year join by dash. Now what I'm going to do, I will select this column and as you can see the data type is text. So I will convert it to a date. So date and format will be month and year. So now let me convert. And now as you can see, the format is month and year. Now let me go back to the report page. And here I will add a one new measure. So I'll right click on any field and I will say new major. And here I will say three months. Order. Quantity. Link total. Here I will use a calculate function and I will say sum of table name and order quantity. So this will return total of order quantity. Now I will go to the next line. And here I will use a date in period function. The first parameter is date. So I will say sales date data. And here I will use a month and year. Just now I have created a one column. Okay. Now I'll say comma. I will use a last date function which give me a last date. And I will use a sales data and month here. Okay. Now I will close this. So I want a three months interval. So I will say minus three. And what kind of interval? I want a month interval. And I will close the bracket and hit the enter button. If you are not familiar with date in in period function, so you have to check out the Microsoft documentation for this. So here you can see the all definition, example and everything. So now let me go back. Now what I'm going to do, I will add a one table here. And I will add a month year column. And I will say as a month here. And then I will add a sum of order quantity for my verification. I will say sum of order quantity. And now three months rolling order quantity. Now let me increase the font size little bit. So I will say 14. So now let's check January. 7502 so 7502 february the total order quantity is 9449 so now let me bring the calculator here we'll try to find out so 7502 plus this one 9449 is equal to 16951 Okay, so this is coming correctly. Now we'll go to the next. So what this 
this this this so let me sum on this 7 5 0 2 plus 9 4 4 9 plus 1 0 9 7 3 is equal to so you can see here 27924 now what will be happening what will happen in april so now it will start taking sum of three months actually we said so this plus this plus this so let us check nine four four nine this one and after this this one ten zero nine seven three oh sorry so nine four four nine plus one zero nine seven three plus four seven zero one is equal to so here you can see twenty five thousand one hundred twenty three and so on so next time what will happen this plus this plus this and it the total will come here because we we want a three month rolling so that's all for this video and thank you for your time i kindly request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and please like and share our content you can also show your support by clicking the thanks button below the video thank you